Yeah, an interesting question uh, is asked. Is uh, worship or praise intended to stimulate our feelings, our emotions, or our minds, or both? That's an interesting question. Let me give a simple answer. Worship is not supposed to stimulate our emotions. Let's reverse it. Worship is where the mind, understanding the truth, activates the emotions in praise and adoration and love toward God. So the point of the music is not to stimulate the emotions. The point of the music is to give an opportunity for the emotions to react to the mind and the understanding. People used to say, you at Grace Church, you don't have a lot of worship, do you? Because you preach an hour. And my answer was, you can't worship unless you understand the truth. I can walk into church and I can tell you in five minutes by the music and the attitude of the people what they understand doctrinally, what they understand biblically, or what they don't understand. Music that is just driven at their emotions is, is a false form of worship, not a legitimate one. But where you have people doctrinally informed who understand the deep and glorious truths of Scripture, the music becomes then a reflection of that. They're not interested in the 7-Eleven songs saying the same seven words 11 times. They're not interested in feelings. They're interested in giving voice to the truth, to the profound doctrines that they know in their heart. And that, that's the reverse of most attempts at worship, where there is, there is an effort, turn down the lights, make it dark, blow smoke in the room, and have people pounding away uh, at, at a high level of decibels so that people are literally physically as well as emotionally being stimulated. And in most cases, it's whatever they are saying, mindless. Uh, music should be the truth given voice from the heart in an emotional response. So what must prevail is an ordered, thoughtful understanding of the truth. And that is why in the history of the church, hymns always play such a high level of importance because they contain sound doctrine, the lasting hymns. And so we are giving voice to our theology when we sing those hymns. That's what worship should be.